was 2009 Freestyle World Champion. 2014, 2018, 2019 Red Bull King of the Air winner, Kevin Angu. This is his 10th Red Bull King of the Air. Two-time winner Aaron Hadlow. There goes Aaron, just an example of a wonderful boogie loop. But Kevin Langry unfortunately will have to battle it through from round two. This will be the third time Kevin found finds himself battling through round two. Kevin Langry did look like it was a bit shaky there, not getting the usual height, didn't have a lot of variety and didn't have a lot Scoring of... Scoring is still the same. Yeah, is it maybe less, like these double loops is... There was so many young kids, man. I'm just shitting myself. When I go, I'm like fucking shitting myself. Was it a nine? Oh, it's just I shit myself if I go in an eight or a seven even. It's fucking scary up there, man. So at some point it's not worth it anymore. Here we have round two, heat number 11, three-time King of the Air winner, Kevin Langry holding the record for the most King of the Air titles, up against a second appearance for him in the King of the Air, Jason van der Spade. There goes Kevin. Contralu board off huge amount of height. Wow, that my gut says that's gonna drop away a 7.6761. That yeah, pumping that fist. Kevin knows it. Okay, we have confirmed that Kevin Langry has survived. I'm feeling scared to be honest. It is flipping windy out there, but it is uh, very exciting to be here again competing for the 10th time. Nice. The first heat was kind of junky, but uh, luckily uh, the last one was good. Yeah, you got in the groove, you performed a big air stylish move, even the contra loop with the board off. That's something new for you? <laughs> yeah, it's super new, man. I got to keep up with these young ones. Exactly, are you edged out, Jason, from the spy leg? We are going into the last heat of round number three. Jamie, who pulled off incredible feet was not even supposed to be even in this event, but Ayrton Cozzolino pulled out. And as a result, we saw him find his way through due to the Porsche golden ticket. He's now up against three-time King of the Air winner. Two down. Is it windy? Woo. Just going on a little beach walk. We thought it was nice conditions. Just to walk <laughs> up the beach a little bit. It's a lovely walk. Yeah, uh, it's so nice. Good conditioning.
world champion Kevin Langry pumping up the crowds. They're getting them on his side. Nobody, I believe, knows this spot better than him. But it is the clash of the new generation versus the old. As we see Jamie there, not even getting perfect timing on that kicker, but just launching with a massive vertical and horizontal distance across the bay. But that should be well within the six point race. You see two seven point scores. Kevin Langry delaying the loop just ever so slightly, displaying some control there. Back loop, kite loop coming down, not the biggest of scores. We have seen the benchmark set, Heat 17 proving that. What a beautiful kicker time there from Jamie Overby. Timing a little bit late off the kicker, delaying that contra loop there. Not, not being hasty and finishing the contra loop, just getting it gently swayed through there. I do believe the new generation guys have now set the standard as we see. It's Kevin Langray with a lovely mega loop board off there. He's still in this, Kevin Langray, in the quarterfinals, as he always is. When it's Kevin, never in this thing. But he's up against it now, against one of the newcomers here. Kevin, this will be the third year that if he makes it through, will be the third year that he has clawed himself round number two back into a final or semi-final. So no stranger to this position, a lot of competition experience. He's going to have to do something special we'll see what drops but at the moment he needs an 11 which means he needs to drop away two scores I, I don't see how that's going to happen yeah and i think he says to me with that huge big floaty signature board off over the horizon with table mount in the background as this heat comes to an end then there was nothing he could do here it was an incredible an incredible effort by a fellow countryman jamie overby who i think he's 17 is that right colin something like that i know it's Come on. Jamie Wilford Beck, 16 years of age, taking out three-time King of the Air winner, I believe, uh, Kevin Lang. We'll wait for the official scores to drop, but um, I think it's a no-brainer. Knocking out Kevin Langry by a point margin of more than seven. Uh, more than seven points, Jamie Overig with a more than convincing win over three-time King of the Air winner Kevin Langry, uh, taken out by Jamie Overig here in the last heat of round number three. So, say goodbye to it is weird you know it's like last year I thought I was gonna say goodbye but I think this year is okay it's okay like this it's fine done it been there it's okay to uh, crown a brand new champion. The guy who went the absolute biggest in this event and definitely deserves this crown, it's Lorenzo Casati. survived this Red Bull King of the Air unfortunately didn't come out on top but I'm happy I had the whole team around me I'm happy you were capturing it Ryan and um, it was quite a magical one it was very strong it was very exciting 
the the level is through the roof and um, what can I say I'm happy to be part of it and thanks for watching see you for the next one later Woo! Yeah. Cheers! Cheers. And, and then you say welcome to the next one. Oh no, no. And this is the end of the last okay, 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 okay. vlog. <laughs> That's the end of the vlog. <laughs> Cheers, oh, we're gonna go celebrate. Yeah.